Máme tu Tariu Turunen, jednu z těch nejočekávanějších účastnic festivalu Masters of Rock, v každém případě tu nejkrásnější. Hello, how are you? Hey, I'm super fine. I'm very happy to be back in Masters of Rock, back in Czech Republic. Really happy. <laughs> It didn't take long because you are here pretty, pretty much every year at least once. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I have a beautiful, beautiful people here supporting me and uh, willing to bring me over. That's the main, in, main and in, most important thing. Obviously, doing classical music and also mm -hmm. playing rock. So. Czech Republic is one of the unique countries, one of the, the countries that are really accepting my diversity as an artist, you know, being a classical musician and as well as a rock musician. Mm -hmm. You played here at the festival, you played at the sports venue, you played at the Zlín Congress Hall, you played in the church. Uh, mm -hmm. Is there any place where you wouldn't play? <laughs> Sure, I don't know. Well, here, why not? Let's make a music. <laughs> Let's make a concert. I mean, yeah, it depends on the on the place and the atmosphere and mm -hmm. everything. You know, I'm very open-minded when it comes mm -hmm. to that. And actually, sometimes when it's a unique place, it's always creating a unique at atmosphere, mm -hmm. and uh, that's that's great. The last show was, uh, as I mentioned, the church with your softer Ave Maria album. Yes. Today, it's gonna be. Again, the heavier side of you, uh, new album. Very heavy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. New songs to remember, new lyrics to remember. Yes. Do you have it, everything <laughs> in the... I, I, I really hope so. We've been playing the new songs already since the um, since the beginning of June. So, um, And we had an Asian tour also in between. So we had like more, we were more... Um, focused on the songs and the new songs and material but obviously tonight you will hear me also performing mm -hmm. quite many new songs since you got a new album coming out pretty soon can you tell us three reasons why people should go out and check it out and buy it well it's my fourth album i think it is for me the strongest album from me so far um, it is an album um, where everything is on its correct place So if you're just interested in uh, listening where I'm standing at the moment in my current career, you should check it out. It's a heavy, heavy album. I think it's the most heaviest album so far in my career. And now I'm, as I'm looking at you, I'm thinking, how long does it take for you personally to prepare to to have a makeup and, you know, to get all the dresses prepared? <laughs> <laughs> You know, obviously, I've had a great teachers in preparing my makeup. Surely, makeup artists have been teaching me a lot, but to do it alone obviously depends on the day. And but it doesn't take me too much time anymore. I mean, it's so, pretty fast. So it's not longer than to set up the stage for the crew. Oh, oh, the crew is taking way more time than I am. But uh, it was so funny because uh, last night I saw my friends from Living Color come into my backstage room. We were in Woodstock Festival mm -hmm. and um, guys, they looked at me like, oh my God, where have you, Tarja, what happened to you? And because I just finished everything mm -hmm. and I was just a few minutes uh, before going to the stage. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, this is my beauty box. Welcome to my beauty box, <laughs> beauty salon. <laughs> I, It's a girly thing. I know? have to say that uh, during the day I have met you a couple of times and uh, it was like the third time I realized that it was sexually you so yeah really yeah well in the morning or during the day when no, I woke like... up yeah yeah <laughs> you know, I, I know uh, yeah. anyways we are TV rebel uh, do you consider yourself a rebel I've not been a rebel I've been a good girl but I always walked my path mm -hmm. always made my decisions in life and uh, But I've been very lucky in having a beautiful family supporting me and still today my own family supports mm -hmm. me in my career and uh, in, in my life in general. So I got pretty lucky in many mm -hmm. ways. But Rebel, I don't think so. I'm kind of, um, I always, as I said, I've always wanted to do my thing on my way. Mm -hmm. But also considering what the other ones are telling me because it's always a good thing to keep yourself open-minded. Mm -hmm. You many times discover new things out of yourself if you just try. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you what was the most rebellious thing in your life you have ever done? Wow, well, I think I left my home when I was 15. 
I, I said to my parents, I have to, I have to go. I mean, I need music in my life. I think that was the thing that obviously I was very young, but um, and uh, South Europe or South America, I've been living there in the last 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 years. And if I talk about this there, they are shocked everybody because it's not the it's not the nature, it's not mm -hmm. the culture of the people to get the to leave their children like in when they are mm -hmm. 15. But it was the best deci best decision in my life because it really made me independent. It made me understand more about life. You mm -hmm. need to dry your wings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the last thing, can you say hi, salute the fans of TV Rebel? Hey, this is Tarja and you are watching TV Rebel.